Finally, so today we got our graded cards back from Tag. Um, there's 20 cards. Um, so yeah, pretty much we're gonna be opening them up and looking at what they're like, what the grades are. So it's Tag, which is Technical Authentication and Grading, which is. I'm not real sure that the term that they use for it, but I think they have like an imaging mo module. Um, so a machine grades the cards. Um, we've never graded before. Quinn didn't want to grade because he didn't want any of his cards to come back. Maybe with the grades that he didn't agree with. But given that this is objective, we decided we would do it. Um, I don't know if the comments are going to be on. Um, keep in mind, he's an 11-year-old boy, so... YouTube tends to turn them off on most of our other stuff, but um, none of these cards are worth $10,000, but to us, they're an awesome collection, especially for an 11-year-old. So I don't think, probably out of these 20, 17 of them, I don't think we would sell. Um, maybe 16 of them we wouldn't, maybe a couple we might. But, um, so this is his first grading. I can't say enough about the customer service at Tag either. Um, our cards got here on time and we actually switched them from when we got the kit they send you a kit and you put it in the kit and by the time we got the kit there was a couple performance issues that we wanted to switch up some players and they were really uh really easy to work with doing that i can't say enough about the customer service so you want to get ready yeah um and these are wrapped and i know i've heard some people say they don't necessarily like that they're wrapped um but I don't know. I think it kind of adds to the... We like to rip if you see our channel. We enjoy ripping. Let me move one of these out of the way. Yeah. Um, so, I think it'll be fun to, to rip these. There they are. We don't know which ones of these. And you know what? We Some of these we know aren't going to grade well. Some of them we think will. We have no idea. But again, it's more just to get them slabbed. We love their slab. I want to get one in hand. Um, and of course, Quinn, uh, being the age he is, decided, hey, technology is the future, and that's the way that he wanted to do it, so. Okay, so this is the back. Alright, that is, I know which one that is. It's the Josh Allen, which, which, oh, is this the Illusions? Nope. Oh, it's the Parallel, yep. Unparalleled. So, let's see which one we guess this one is. Do you want to compare the grades to what we what we thought? Well, yeah, one sec. Oh, this. You thought it was going to be an 8. I thought it was going to be a 9. It's a 9. It's a 9. And the way that if you hold it up close to, they, they, they have a 1,000 point grading scale. Um, so that's actually a 918. And it's not exactly like 900 to 950 is, is a 9. I forget where the range is. It might be 875 to 925. I'm not real sure. Um, but they have that 1,000-point scale. And then uh, they still do use the traditional 1 to 10 grading. Man, that slab looks nice, doesn't it? You hold it? Yeah. Wow. It's got some It's got some weight to it. Mm -hmm. And I thought that that was etched in there. Uh, but I guess it's actually painted on there. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. So it's like it's like white paint on there. Oh, it is. Wow. Yeah. So that slab looks clearer and better than I even thought it was going to. When they were, people were saying that, that that slab looked good, and they're not kidding. It looks good. Next. Next one. And we don't have to compare every grade yeah. to what we guessed. We can do that later because I don't want this being like an hour long since there are 20 cards. Is it, that's too much to rip with your hand. Yeah, it's way too thick. And they even threw in a little bit of swag for us. Threw in a hat and a shirt for Quinn, knowing that this was the first that he was going to rip. All right, is that Okay, the... this is the Josh Allen Drip. Okay, that is the one we thought wouldn't grade that well. Yeah, wait, what, what do you think this one was going to be? I don't know. I thought that was going to be the one. I thought it was going to be a set. We both thought it was going to be a 7. 8.5. Okay, all right, okay. We actually got that one out of a break. Yeah, we got so, this out of our break. Yeah. 
uh, online. How did this get an 8D? 8.5? Yeah, what's the actual number? 870. Yeah. That's nearly a 9. I think it is. I think 870 might go into 9. I'm not sure. So, okay. Let's go on to the next one. I really want to see we have a Josh Allen um, optic in here. That's the one I want to see. Just be careful with that knife point. I know. Oh, this is a Tua. Yep. What Tua is it, though? The field level? How many Tua's do we do? Do you know? Yeah, we these, did like we did like five, I think. These, just... these are all football, by the way. Yeah, we did three. We did three. We did three. Oh, we did. Three. Okay. We actually have... Kind we of got... Grade? What do we got? Oh, it's the Tua field level. Yep. Like I said, I don't want to guess on grades. I'm... For what I'm seeing... I think that's what we guessed was a nine. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Yeah. We'll check later. I actually only thought we were going to get two tens, so. Really? But, all right, cool. Pretty Let's nice. See the next one. We were going to, we had some um, uh, field level green die cuts, but anyone doesn't know, they, they don't do, tag doesn't do patch or die cut yet. So if you do go with them, um, just keep in mind right now they haven't got that far. Oh, is this is Lamar Jackson. Ooh, Lamar yep. Jackson, Don Rest. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not guessing. A nine. I'm pretty sure that is what I guessed though. That is one of the few I think I actually bought online. Um, the other ones we either ripped or got at uh, card shops. Yeah. So. All right, and then if you scan this too, which is really part of the reason that we wanted to do this, they have something called a dig report, and I guess it's like a two or three page report. We'll have to see afterwards, and it tells you everything that it was marked down for. Um, I guess it's pretty detailed, so I'm looking forward to when we're done with this, taking a look at that dig report. I don't remember what the acronym stands for, and I don't want to assume that I remember, but that's essentially what that report is. Okay. What is this one? Oh, I said it's already saw. At oh, the, premier level. The grade's what I thought it was going to be. 8.5. Yep. That's what I thought that one was going to be. Isn't there a nick on this or something? I don't know. I think it might have been some surface issues. We can look. But we wanted to get that one graded, but I knew that that one probably wasn't going to grade that well. I don't think Kyler Murray's having the year that maybe people thought he was going to have especially last year he got off to a hot start and he's cooled down a little bit but okay here's the campus one yep this is a super short print on campus and eight. Eight. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty. I think we get the seven. I don't know. Yeah, I knew that. We wanted to get that one graded. Again, these are more. We're not going to sell these. We just wanted to get them slabbed up. Um, and some of them I knew were not going to grade where we wanted. So that's fair. That I mean, that's pretty. Yeah, much, because the edges are pretty scuffed. I mean, yeah, that, that's about where we thought it was going to land. So, so far, I think I can generally agree with about what these grades are. And someone stayed home sick today, and right when we have to leave to pick his sister up, the FedEx package came. So that was like perfect timing. But hopefully you're feeling a little bit better. I think this might have helped you feel better when he knocked on the door. And I've only seen a couple of cards even show up on eBay from Tag yet. Um, oh, here's the Dawson. Um... All right, right this is one of Quinn's favorite players. This one we did rip. I know there's not a lot of value to it, but it's one of his favorite. Oh! Ten, that's why we did it. We thought that probably would get a ten. Nice. Yeah, we ripped that one right out of there, and it looked good. One of his favorite players. So I think that's the only Dawson Knox card we picked because we figured it would get a ten. So these are hitting about where we thought so far. Yeah. These are. I think they're hitting exactly where we thought. And I think, too, if I recall, I'm not sure how much 
how many cards that tag is getting out graded. I mean, it's obviously not as many as PSA in that, given that they're new. Because I think I did see that they weren't taking submissions for a short period of time, which is good. Because they probably don't want to get behind. Here's the orange reactive. You were that one. So, that's... I think that's what I thought on that. Nine. I only guessed two tens. I think you got... I thought you got... I don't know. Maybe... I thought you got um, three. I so might have. Like and was a little worried about him because I was like, man, maybe he's not that good because we have so many Justin Fields cards from, from the stuff that we've ripped. But he's actually looked pretty good the last couple weeks, so that's hopefully encouraging for, for him. And us being Bills fans, he's that good. Oh I don't gosh. really mind that much because he's not in our division. Now, Tua, how many cards do you think we bought at Tua? 50? Maybe even 100. Like in preseason? And last year we did it with Joe Burrow, and you sold your cards right before the Super Bowl, which was perfect timing. Okay, this is the one I thought could go either way. All right. A 10, Josh Adams? Oh, is this the prison one? Yeah. Oh. That's the one I told you. I said, I don't know. It could go 8.5 to 10, and I didn't know. You, I think you put it like an 8.5. So it, it, but of course we wanted to grade that one. That's an interesting story, because I went to a card shop in Canton. I think there's only one in Canton. And he actually had the, he had it marked wrong pretty considerably. And I told him. And he actually still honored the price. He looked it up. He's like, yeah, you're right. That is marked wrong. I mean, it was marked 25% lower than it should have been. But he still honored the price that was marked. Did it last uh, one of this pack or this box? Last pack of this box. I think box. we've got through most of the Josh Allens. I'm still missing like three or two. Probably a third of these are Josh Allen. Obviously, our favorite player. Mm. Ooh, hopefully that elbow's a little better. Ooh. Is that Trevor Lawrence? We ripped Optic, that one. Optic, rated rookie. Nine. All right, okay. I wasn't sure about that one. We ripped it. But I'll have to look down the numbers that we wrote. I still think that's probably accurate. Yes, so. it is indeed. I can't wait to look at those dig reports. Those are going to be interesting. And you know, I heard someone too say that it might actually make common cards be worth something. Because if you can get like a really high 10 as a common card, it might actually add value to a card that's otherwise pretty much has no value. If you're like a really high 10. Because on the 1,000 point scale... You can actually have a common that would technically be special if it was like a 990 or something like that. Oh, and if you haven't seen on the, um, they send out submission kits. They're pretty easy to use. They, they give you all the sleeves to put them in and um, you fill out the list online and um, put them in a package that zippers up, say, for the potential environmental factors. Ooh. Okay, this one I did not think was going to grade well. Nice. Okay, all right. I thought that would be an 8.5, but we'll go with the 9. I'll take it. Like I said, we've never graded before, so I didn't really know. You yeah. know, if you look inside that, flip that around. Is that in a penny sleeve inside that? No, I think it's just, just inside the slab itself. Yeah, it is. Okay. We got what seven more? Wait, what? I think we have seven more. Whatever. Okay. Okay. You're doing good at hiding those grades. What is that one? That is the one that I thought would be a 10, and it's not. What? 906. We'll have to look. That That's the only one I thought would be a 10. I know what was wrong. I know, but we can find out. That's the nice part about it. So. Oh, no, we did get one 10. That Dawson Knox. Yeah. I thought we'd get two 10s. Well, we still have, like... Yeah. There's one more... 
think has a chance. Only one more. Which one is this? Ooh, the Justin Jefferson? Okay. Yep. I okay. Didn't think it was going to be a 10. Nine. Yep. Okay. Pretty sweet. So. Oh, it was an eight seven. Yeah, but us being Buffalo Bills fans, we kind of have a thing with Justin Jefferson because Steph Diggs got traded for a first round pick that ended up being Justin Jefferson. And if anyone saw that Vikings Bills game over the weekend, Diggs and Justin Jefferson were beasts. And the last two minutes of that game was probably two of the craziest minutes I've seen in football. I don't know if I've ever actually seen that before, fumbling in the end zone with like 30 seconds left. Just watch your fingers. I know. Okay, where are you? I think this is another Josh Allen. The Josh? Yep. Oh, it's the Donruss. Yep. So it's similar to the optic. What do you think? That one, I told you that was the other one I thought would get a 10. I thought it would either be the optic or the Donruss. So one of them hit at the 10. So that's nice. What's the actual uh, 938? Nice. What happens if you get a perfect 1,000? I think they have a word for it. I, they might call it pristine. I don't know, but it, 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 is on a, it, it is on a different level. I think if it's above like 975. But I told you, I thought Dawson Knox, the Josh Allen Optic, and the Josh Allen Donruss were the only ones that had a chance to be in 10. And two of the three were, so... Oh, the two are pink optic rated rookie. I don't remember the centering on this. Okay, it's a nine. All right. It's a nine. All right. I was a little nervous it might end up being an eight. I couldn't remember from looking at it. All right. That is a nice looking card. It is. That is a nice looking card. We actually got that early on when we started collecting, and then I thought, oh, two is not that good. And then when they got Tyree Kell. Just went and bought all his cards. Two are normal optic right of rookie. Oh, Ten. there we go. Nice. Sorry, I actually did buy that one online too. So that was nice. I got a 10 on there. Hmm. What's, the, what's the actual number on that? 960. 960? You know what? We have another one that's just like that. I couldn't pick between the two. Huh. Are I they... guess I picked the right one. Although maybe both of them are 10s. And that's the optic, too. Nice. Although I don't think I did any Don with the hood. Here's a Trevor Lawrence Don. I know we ripped that one. Nine. Okay. I mean, that's probably about what I would have thought. I mean, I think it's been pretty accurate so far. And hold that up again. I mean, that, that slab really looks good. Because we got shelf in your room, which we counted how many cards are on the shelf. How many are there, Quinn? About 200? 200 something, I don't know. Yeah, so those are going to look good on there. Because that, 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 oh, it's that a slab nine, looks ten. really nice. That's it, a, a 900 for a second. I don't even know which ones are left. I can't remember. Okay. I remember getting this one. You were psyched. He's not... We never really had confidence he was going to be that big from the beginning, but everyone was collecting. We hit that. We were excited. Let's see. What's a 10? Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, and that was... That's a 953, too. And that was packed fresh, so... At least some of these might technically be population ones right now because we're so early in getting grading with tag. But you remember how excited you were when we got this card? Yeah. Because Mosaic was the first that really came out that you ripped that wasn't like Prestige or something like that. Um, 
and I remember you were really, it's it's on the video there somewhere. I think we got the mosaic for literally the week that it hit retail. Oh I think it's going better than I thought, Quinn, on the grades. They, they've been oh, about oh, where oh, I thought okay. maybe one was below the optic donris. The rest have been about where I wanted or higher. <laughs> Which one was that? Justin Wasn't Fields sure about that one. Okay. I'm pretty sure that last one's in Justin Fields, isn't it? Um, I don't know. Wait. Something makes me think it's probably a Tua. That's what I was thinking. I was like, it may be a Tua. I, I don't know. We'll see. These boxes are actually going to work nice to store cards, too. These, their packaging is really nice. All right. Last one, Quinn. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I remember that one, too. I told you I didn't know on that one. I, th I already saw the grade. Okay. Oh, I thought it was an 8.5 for a second. I was like, so that's pretty good. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, overall, I think these slabs look nicer than I thought they would. Um, the grades, they were, there. I would honestly say there was only one card, this one, that graded below what I thought. But we'll have to look at the dig report. That's why we wanted to do it, because we can see it was wrong. But I would say the rest of them, they pretty much were right about where we thought. We knew some of them were going to be below a 9. We actually thought one or two of them might be a 7, but we wanted to get them slabbed anyway, so... Yep, well. Let's go look at those dig reports. It's part of the fun of it. Like, I mean, that is part of the fun of it, to look at those. So, well. until next time, that was fun. Mm-hmm. See ya.